What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. And for this video, I just wanted to go through a quick uh, tutorial on how to test your waste gates on your turbochargers. Now, some of you guys might be familiar with this kit here. This is by Mighty Vac. It's the MV8000. And this is for like bleeding your brakes and stuff like that all by yourself. Um, so the problem with the MV8000 model is it only produces vacuum and you can tell it's uh, it's also plastic and all that stuff so in order to test your wastegates manually what you need is something a little bit different so this model here is the MV8510 and not only can it do vacuum it can also do pressure basically all you need to do is flip this switch here changes the uh, direction of the airflow or, or whatever it's a valve basically and one direction is for basically like pre positive pressure and the other one is for negative pressure or vacuum so what you can do is basically you set it so it'll produce pressure and you just pump it up by hand until you can see your wastegates moving on your turbos and then you just, just like the other models, you just press this to release the, uh, the air in the system. Uh, as you can see here, this is a twin turbo setup from an Audi. Um, so we got basically vacuum lines running to a T. And from that T it goes into the MV8510. Now if you don't have twin turbos, you obviously don't need a T. You can connect your one single wastegate directly to the MV8510. Subaru owners, just do the best you can. <laughs> so let me do a, a quick close up here. These are uh, stock KO3 turbos. And wastegate should be around, somewhere around eight PSI or so. So let me uh, show another close up angle. Okay, so here is a close-up shot of the MV8510. It's all metal construction. And you can see right here, this is the turn valve for changing it to either vacuum or pressure, positive pressure. Here is the gauge itself. So if the needle moves to the left, that's vacuum. If it moves to the right, it's positive pressure. Uh, it's also listed in inches mercury for vacuum or PSI or KPA for positive pressure. Now all you got to do is just pump it and watch your needle go up. So right now we are at 5 PSI and as we continue to move up you can see the wastegate moving. And then just to remove your or to release or bleed off the air you just pull this lever on the bottom here so let's uh, let's do a close-up shot showing the wastegates moving okay here we go I am going to pump it up there's the wastegate moving we are right now at 7 psi or so And because we have this teed in, they're both moving at the same time and at the same rate. All right, so here you can see both wastegates. And what most people do when they're testing their wastegate settings is they'll use their really, really expensive air compressors. They'll dial it down to whatever their desired wastegate pressure is and basically output from their air compressor just that pressure um, those are that's basically what professionals do mechanics do and all that for those that don't have very very expensive setups this is a really inexpensive way to do it yourself and to make sure it's done right and this is just one more quick test here I'll show you so as I pump it up okay we're now at 5 psi now keep your eye on these wastegates here they're gonna start moving after a couple more pumps there it goes now they're moving, moving, moving. There you go. So by the time I'm at 
9 or 10 PSI, probably about 10 PSI. The wastegates are fully open. Yep, there you go. So that's how you test your wastegates manually, just using a hand pump. This is the Mighty Vac MV8510. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions.